Near the coast, the sea is as solid as ever. The sun is low and the midday temperature is 10 below. At the Emperor Colony, spring has made life easier. The edge of the ice is nearer than it used to be and getting food for the chicks is that much quicker. On the other hand, the chicks are growing fast and are a lot more demanding. The parents are in a constant relay race to keep young stomachs filled. As the sea ice melts a little more each day, so each day the trip is shorter. The Antarctic is a strange, upside-down sort of place with nothing much on the surface and an abundance below it. Sometimes it's easy to forget that penguins are birds, but they are, and they're flying birds too. It's just that they live on top of their sky. They hunt fish and squid like swallows catching insects. No other birds fly faster underwater. Emperor penguins can hold their breath for 20 minutes. They can dive beyond the reach of sunlight a mile down. They hunt in an ocean that at this time of the year gets an explosion of new food. It happens here under the crumbling ice of the nursery for fish and krill. Their refuge is melting and they aren't safe anymore from the penguins, seals and whales. The ice is also releasing a boost of minerals, in particular iron. The sun, shining through the ice, sparks the growth of green algae, which feed the krill. Their ice home disappears. Suddenly the krill have to take their important place in the wider world. And, seeking safety in numbers, they gather in colossal swarms. The sheer mass of the Antarctic krill is greater than the mass, the total weight, of any other animal on Earth. Mammals and birds come from all over the world to transfer some of that weight to themselves, including animals that are already among the largest. It's krill, in fact, that makes the biggest whales even possible. 